We now work through an exam style question involving parallel and perpendicular vectors. We're given the vectors u, whose components are 0, 5, q, as well as v, whose components are 0, 10, 14. We're then told to find the value of q for which u and v are 1, parallel, and 2, perpendicular. Let me start by moving this question to the side, like so. For the first question, question 1, we need to find the value of q such that u and v are parallel. Well, for that, the important result we need to remember is that two vectors u and v are parallel if and only if we can find a number, which we'll call k, such that u equals to k times the vector v. Writing u and v in their component form leads to the vector 0, 5, q, equals to k times the vector 0, 10, 14. On the right-hand side here, this vector is being multiplied by k. Remember, when we multiply a vector by a number, we multiply each of its components by that number. So this equation turns into the vector 0, 5, q on the left-hand side equals to the vector whose top component is k times 0, so that's just 0, then k times 10, so that's 10k, so I'll write 10k there, and finally, k times 14, and that would be 14k. Done. And at this stage, we have two unknowns. Indeed, we don't know what k is yet, or perhaps you've already guessed it, and we don't know what q is. But an important result we can use here is the fact that two vectors are equal if and only if each of their corresponding components are equal. In other words, for these two vectors to be equal, we have to have 0 equals to 0, and we have to have 5 equals to 10k, and finally, we have to have q equals to 14k. So clearly, 0 equals to 0, so I'll just put a green tick there. And remembering that we need to find what q has to equal, and looking at this third equation here, we can quickly see that if we find what k has to be, then we'll be able to calculate q. So we look at this other equation that we have here, 5 equals to 10k. And in fact, I'll just rewrite that one. We have 5 equals to 10k. Now we can solve this equation for k quite easily. Indeed, solving that quickly leads us to k equals to 5 over 10. In other words, k is equal to 1 over 2, or simply 1 half. And in fact, I'll go ahead and box that result. So if k equals to 1 over 2, this second equation turns into 5 equals to 10 times 1 over 2, which is 5. In other words, it makes that second equation true as well. And finally, now that we know what k is, we can figure out what q is. Indeed, copying this third equation, that's q equals to 14k, but since k is 1 over 2, that becomes 14 times 1 over 2. That leads us to q equals to 14 over 2. Finally, q is equal to 7. And that's the answer. For the vectors u and v to be parallel, q has to equal to 7. And we move on to the second question, question 2. Now in this case, we need to find the value of q such that the two vectors u and v are perpendicular. Now the important result to remember here is that two vectors u and v are perpendicular if and only if their dot product or scalar product is equal to zero. So we need to figure out which value of q leads to u dot v equal to zero. So writing both u and v in component form, that would be 0, 5, q dot 0, 10, 14, and that's equal to the product of their x components, that's 0 times 0, and I'll go ahead and write that, that's 0 times 0, plus the product of their y components, so that's 5 times 10, and I go ahead and write that, that's 5 times 10, plus the product of their z components, so that's q times 14, which is just 14q. And that's equal to 0 times 0, so that's just 0 and no need to write it, plus 5 times 10, which is 50, plus 14q. And that's the dot product of the two vectors u and v.
Now remember, we need to find q such that this dot product equals to zero. So all we have to do now is equate this expression to zero. In other words, we write 50 plus 14q equals to zero. We now solve for q, which leads to 14q equals to negative 50. And dividing both sides of this equation by 14 leads to q equals to negative 50 over 14. Finally, simplifying that fraction a bit, we can state that q is equal to negative 25 over 7. And that's the final answer. For the two vectors u and v to be perpendicular, q has to equal to negative 25 over 7. And there we have it. Those are two exam-style questions involving parallel and perpendicular vectors. And that's it for this tutorial.